This is 8.5 task two. All right, so this task we're gonna do a little bit differently because um, you will notice on the side we have these uh, properties that we have to fill in. Um, when we are using expressions with um, variables, uh, there are lots of different properties like cumulative uh, or commutative property of addition, commutative property of multiplication, associative property of addition, associative property of multiplication, and the distribution, or, I'm sorry, the distributive property. That was a mouthful. I am not going to be teaching you all of those. They should sound familiar, but if they don't, that's okay. But um, these are things that you should have learned in previous years. But I don't care that you know what they're called. I only care that you know how they work. Um, and so I'm going to explain this in this video that we are not going to, we're not even going to worry about this right here. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I just care that you can take an expression and find an equivalent expression and they both have variables in them. And I don't care if you know what it's called when you switch things around. So we're going to ignore all those. We're not even going to do that. We're not going to do that there. That one. No, that one. Don't need those. Oh, we do need that Y, though. There we go. That one. Okay. So what this task is telling us is that we have, we're going to identify if these two expressions are equivalent. So we have this expression and we have this expression. Okay. Now these two expressions, we need to figure out if they are equivalent to each other. Okay. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take this, we're going to take this first expression and we are going to, um, simplify it down and see if we can't combine some like terms. So let's combine some like terms. First, we're going to distribute that four. So what we did this first step, we have four a plus two b. And when we distribute the four, the four needs to be multiplied out to everything inside the parentheses. And the stuff inside the parentheses we can't combine because there's an A and a B and we can't combine terms that have different variables in them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 4 and distribute it to the A, which then it would be 4 times A. And then we're going to distribute it to the other one, which means that we would add a 4 times 2 is 8 then times b. So that's how we got from the parentheses to this right here. Okay. And then we add the 4a because that's what's left. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we, for from this one to this one, we just change the order because we have a 4a here and we have a 4a here. So we're thinking, well, why don't we put those two together? Okay, so we're going to put those next to each other because what we can do is we distributed, just like we distributed the 4 to the A and the 2B, we can do the same thing but just the opposite way. When we have 4A plus 4A, we can take out a common part here, A, and be left with 4 plus 4. Okay. <laughs> And then what we're left with is 4 plus 4 is 8a, like that. So when we have 8a, so we have 8a plus 8b, what's common between both of those things? Well, there's an 8 in the first term and an 8 in the second term. So if there's an 8 in both terms, we can pull that 8 out. So where we have a plus b, because there's a and b, and then we take those 8s and we put them right here, like that. Okay. 
So now what we're left with is 8 times a plus b. Well, that's exactly what this other expression was. So yes, we can say that these two expressions are equivalent. Okay. So let's try it again with the fourth part b. We have 8xy plus 5xy. And then the other expression is 3xy. We want to know if 8xy plus 5xy is equivalent to 3xy. Okay, because there is an xy in both the 8 and the 5, those are like terms. We can combine those two things because they are the same type of term. There's an x and a y in both of them. We can combine those two things, okay? So what we're going to do is we have 8xy plus 5xy. And so we're going to combine those two to be right here. And then we're going to take these 8 and the 5, and we're going to put them right here. 8 plus 5, like that. And then what we're left with is 8 plus 5 is 13. 13xy. Well, wait, 13xy is not equal to 3xy. Okay, so that means that this expression, that 8xy plus 5xy, is not equivalent to 3xy. So go ahead and circle is not.